This is in the recreation room in the basement. And behind me is the electrical panel. On the other side of the wall that we're looking at is the laundry room. And you can see that there are three conduits uh, that are painted white. Those were installed in about 19, actually the two were installed in 67 or 68, I believe. And then the one that is uh, this one here was uh, probably installed in 92. And you can see that the diameter of the holes in the position of the conduit um, match very well. There's very little uh, error around the conduit. And then the uh, three silver conduits were installed by the contractor here. And you can see that this uh, appears to have been the holes that appear to have been drilled by uh, artillery as opposed to a drill. There was very little care exercised in uh, undertaking that work. Here's another conduit. You know, there's basically no air around it. Done very well. And so I'm going to run a new ground lead. They put EMT on the sur surface of the beams here and it looked absolutely awful. And uh, so there's actually a couple, an EMT or two in the uh, light box here. And uh, um, IEC allow, it doesn't require that ground leads be an EMT or uh, any kind of conduit. And I plan to run the ground lead in the light box there and wire tie it to the EMT that's already in there and uh, then I'm going to leave a couple feet on the end, on this end and that end for the electrician to make the connections. Actually that end is just bonded to the um, water meter so I will connect that end and uh, run it and then I'm going to leave it up to the electrician to connect it on this end. So. Uh, okay, so that's telephone ground. Anyhow, so that's what's happening with the ground lead. Still in the recreation room, there's a pair of AR2 speakers here. Sorry, they're not AR2, I forgot the model. TSW410, this is not a real high-end speaker. And uh, this speaker was found face down on the ground it's on these stands here to keep them dry. It's supposed to be on these stands to keep them dry because the basement floods from time to time. And um, whoever did the electrical work uh, either knocked this one off the stand or placed it face down on the, on the floor and damaged the speaker grill. And that's kind of frustrating because it would have taken very little effort to not damage the speaker grill. But no care was shown. Here's a good one. I moved the lampshades from the chandelier, the four remaining ones, to the bedroom so they couldn't get damaged. And look, some clown has placed a ladder right over them. I bet he didn't notice them. And uh, who knows, maybe they got damaged. I mentioned that I brought the lampshades from the uh, <coughs> chandelier up here so they couldn't get damaged and that the electrician put the ladder on top of the shades. Uh, at first glance, I didn't think they were damaged, but when I picked it up, picked one of them up, this piece fell out. So now the contractor has damaged two out of five of the lampshades. Those are gonna be nearly impossible to replace. Here we've got a puddle at the bottom of the stairway. <laughs> to the basement and that's because the water heater has gone bad this uh, as a, this when I came here on the 15th of January this was known to be leaking and uh, it's causing greater and greater damage the water is migrating out um, and causing the uh, the seams in the tile to open up this should have been dealt with quickly so that further damage did not arise, occur, but you can see it was not dealt with quickly and 
there is damage to the tile you know in about maybe a 10 foot radius around the water heater that's a little disappointing